I'm Andy Walker, I'm the manager of Get Hooked on Fishing in Midlands. It's my job basically to coordinate and promote the activities we do with young people. Uh, we do a whole range of activities. Basically, um, it's, it is about angling, but it's all about education really. And um, we use angling as the tool to help young people with special needs um, and help them reconnect with education help them basically gain some interpersonal skills and um, help them with self-esteem and self-confidence and it's a brilliant wonderful tool to work with young people. This is part of the education action zone that we do with young people in junior schools and secondary schools. Basically what you're seeing here is a maths lesson but a maths lesson that's fun. It's making maths relevant to young people. Here we have a fish and it's their job to catch the fish on the reverse of what it is and wait. So there's your maths. It's fish recognition and your maths. They all have worksheets and they fill their worksheets in comp with whatever weight they get in the particular time, say five minutes. And at the end of that time, they can add up the weight or they can see what ratio of fish they catch for different species. And basically the worksheets are given to the maths teacher to do what he wants with them to make maths fun and relevant. Here's another activity of the Education Action Zone called Maggot Alley, another maths lesson and the object is to score points by throwing balls into buckets. They can score one, two, three points and they have various meters, two meters, three meters in which to score and if they go from the three meter ones it's then one times three, two times three or three times three. Easy, please. Take your time. Pick up one. One. Two. Pole Alley, we have here another activity of the Education Action Zone. Here, the, the object is to again get the use of handling uh, a pole, which is efficient equipment, so they get coordination skills. And again, it's a maths lesson. We have the balls in the blue, the green, and the yellow tube. And they have to actually get hold of them and they on. That's it. And they get points, whether it's three, two, and one. And they add up their scores again. But again, they're getting used to the real fishing equipment as well as doing a maths lesson too. Point there, break. So if you look on this one, because I'm quite sneaky, you can see in the top corner you've 
get silver. That's not part of the fish, is it? You get silver fish. It's not part of its anatomy. All the parts are listed here. And there's all, there are other words in there that are only interested in the parts of the body. So if you put the names on the top. I enjoyed the last game because I got to see how much chip weighed and what fish I caught. The fi I caught a fish and I think it weighed two kilograms and then I caught another one which weighed 300 grams. But on the fishing part, you have to catch the fish and um, it helps you with your control. But, um, then on like, on like the one where you have to throw like the balls like the balls in um, the buckets, it helps you with like your aiming. My favourite part was when we had to get the fish with the fishing rod, but um, it was sometimes a bit annoying when I lifted up the fish and they just fell off. I scored quite a few points and um, I enjoyed, I also enjoyed when um, we learnt about the fish and stuff. But um, my absolute favourite bit was when we were throwing the balls in Maga Ali. We done the Maga Ali and then it was hard to score but I did get a few points and it was really fun. I liked the last activity where we had to use a whip uh, to catch these fish and I got about 19 and I can remember one of the names in the fish and it was one of, the, some, one of them was a perch, one of them was a roach and I think I mostly catch the roach. Hello, my name's Heather Fags and I have been involved with Get Hooked on Fishing for about five years. I started originally because my son Alec, who's now 17, was interested in fishing and I used to take him along to sessions and decided that I'd quite like to have a go myself. So I became a volunteer. I did this for four years and then decided to take the coach's course and become a level two coach myself, which I did last year. What do I get out of fishing? Working with the children, I think. Seeing the children that come along with low self-esteem, uh, children who perhaps got difficulties, or children who just want to fish, and seeing their faces as they achieve. Today, for instance, with Education Action Zone, I have seen children here at this school that I've known for 12 months laughing and smiling as I've never seen them before and thoroughly enjoying themselves. That's the reward that I get from working with Get Hooks on Fishing. My own son is severely dyslexic, had problems at school, through junior school and senior school. He became a peer coach at 14 and is now at Rod Baston Agricultural College doing a two-year course in National Diploma in Fishery and Studies. He's a peer coach, he coaches other children, he gives presentations and he's working at the moment in his second year at distinction level. The improvement in his reading was phenomenal. In one year through reading fishing magazines he went from a reading age of 8 to 11. All this with his self confidence has encouraged me to carry on myself and work with other children and help them as Ali has been helped with this scheme. That's why I do it. My name's Aubrey Smith. I'm employed as a level two coach with Get Hooked on Fishing. I also now trained as level three tutor assessor to help with classroom sessions, etc. Um, we do EAZs, which is mainly to introduce young children with disabilities or not to fishing. Uh, with the EAZ in school, we then take them out fishing. The tutoring side of things comes in when we do the OCN courses, which is the Open College Network. We're doing those at the moment at level one, level two. Possibly in the future we'll go level three. Um, we're building on different modules now from the basic fishing, um, doing modules on fish farming, fish diseases and that type of thing. I personally, from it's the enjoyment with the, the children. You know, if you, you're out fishing, like I'm mainly match fishing. I've done the match fishing scene, I've done the specimen scene, I do sea fishing, fly fishing, coarse fishing. But now it's a case of putting that over and pass some of the knowledge I've got onto the children so they can hopefully catch fish. And it's now more enjoyable to see a child catch a fish than it is for me to catch it. It's great. And if you can help with their development on motivation, skills or anything like that, added bonus.
Hi, my name's Neil. I volunteered for Get Hooked on Fishing through the Hollymore Centre when I was looking for work. I thought I'd give something back while I was out of work. I've recently started work and I'm still carrying on with this. I find it very enjoyable and I feel as though I'm giving something back.